Bass Reeves was an extraordinary man who lived an extraordinary life at an extraordinary time in America's history. Bass Reeves is definitely the hero's journey. I had a lot of reverence for the legend of Bass Reeves. And then once I got the script and read about his life, I became really enamored with him. His stories have been reappropriated into stories of other lawmen. And so to do justice to the man himself is a real honor. You never hide your own story from the world, because then you rob the world of what you're here for. The story of Bass is incredible, from slave to one of the greatest lawmen that ever lived. And as the legend goes, the inspiration to the Long Ranger. I doubt you're interested in a bunch of half-true stories about me. Well, true enough. Bass Reeves was owned. It's a hard thing to even use that phrase, but owned by George Reeves. During the slave years, there was very little record of their life and times. And so it was mostly oral history until he became a lawman. He, as a slave, was taught to shoot, trusted with weapons, and then was, during the Civil War, entrusted as a body servant to the 11th Texas Cavalry. You can follow me, and you will fire. I was astounded to know that black men were forced to fight for the Confederacy against the very men who were fighting for your freedom. He became a fugitive and escaped to live out the rest of the Civil War in Indian Territory. It was actually Seminoles who sheltered him because there was no stigma of being black. So he learned their language. And being able to communicate with them paid dividends when he was a lawman, and so they would entrust him. When you meet Bass, you meet him as a man. And as the story progresses, he begins to turn into the myth and the legend. He made history as the first black deputy U.S. Marshal west of the Mississippi River. You got miles to ride. Godspeed the horses. He was hired by Judge Parker. Judge Isaac Parker deployed black men because a lot of white men refused to go into the Indian Territory because it was just way too dangerous. Out here, there ain't no laws, only outlaws. Bass was quite famous for disguising himself in the process of arrest. He goes to great lengths to ensure he gets his man and then no blood is shed in the process. He preferred nonviolence, preferred to preach to them, to try to save them. Black, white, or red, we all just men. He really had those values that America reveres. He was a family man, he was a man of faith, with a real distinct feeling of right and wrong. He still believed in the Lord that let you spend half your life in chains. Man, man, those chains. Well, God will give me the hope to believe in the future without him. To look into Bass Reeves' life is kind of extraordinary. I think it was a story that we can all identify with, because what is a more apt to birthright than your own freedom? At its core, it's just this man that you sort of find certain similarities with, and you see his family, and maybe you draw inferences to your own family that's very relatable, even in 200 years. Bass Reeves was a total badass and fit the American narrative to a T besides being black. So that's why we've never heard of him. I'm taking AP US History this year, and even the AP class doesn't mention Bass Reeves. It is a story of survival. It is a story of trailblazing. It's recognizing a true American legend that has been lost to history. He was an incredible human being. It was an amazing story. Our national story is incomplete without his story. I'm excited for people to see the man, the actual man, the blood and bone human being behind the legend. I'm the sword and the shield. I'm the shepherd of the flock. I'm the light in the dark and the Lord is slain. I'm Deputy U.S. Marshal Bass Reeves.